Hello and welcome to another unboxing from uh, Pushing Cardboard. Today we're having a look at uh, Hannibal and Hamilcar from Phalanx Games. Um, it used to be uh, Hannibal Rome, Rome versus Carthage, but uh, they've they've added the uh, the Hamilcar game into this. Now this is this unboxing is for the uh, the upgrade pack. I uh, I was one of the Kickstarter backers of the original Hannibal and Hamilcar, and um, there were, were a fair number of uh, complaints and whatnot about that. So they, uh, as far as I understand, they've uh, changed some of the dice. Uh, completely rewritten the rules to Hamilcar and uh, cleaned up the rule book, which was a, a big source of uh, complaint, I think, for a lot of people with the uh, the uh, Hannibal and Hamilcar game when it came out uh, two or three years ago. So this is the upgrade kit. Uh, I have, like I said, I have the original with the... Um, um, it has, uh, unlike the original game, it has... Uh, the, the new version has these... Uh, uh, minis, which I which I don't much like, uh, and you had to pay like an extra twenty bucks U.S. to get standees instead, and uh, I did not buy the standees when I had the chance, and I regret that. I'd uh, I think the standees have more info right on them, including uh, the name of the <laughs> the name of the of the console or the general, whoever's uh, whichever it is. I'm when I play with this game, I'm like. Who, who, who the hell have I got here? Because all it is is it's you've got to sort of look at the card and then look at the shape of the guy to remember who you have. Anyway, so this is the upgrade kit and uh, we'll uh, let's dive in and, and see what comes in the upgrade kit. Uh, they're calling this the uh, Golden Geek Edition, I guess. Uh, and uh, I also noticed on the box that uh, it's Mark Simonich's Hannibal and Hamilcar Rome versus Cartha by Mark Simonich and Yaro Andruskowicz. Um, I'm guessing Yaro is now getting uh, um, the designer credit because uh, I imagine he probably wrote the rules for Hamilcar or something like that. Anyway, here we go. Um, let's see what's in the box. It's a giant box. I think that that's one of the other things. Uh, uh, I think the box itself is part of the upgrade kit because uh, a lot of folks complained that if you uh, got a couple of the, uh, when you got the uh, Kickstarter version of the game, as I did, um, there were, a f you could order a few extra cards and a couple of extra consoles uh, to play some variations on the original game. And if you had the extra stuff, uh, nobody could, uh, it, it wouldn't fit into the original box, which was not quite as uh, deep as this one, if I recall correctly. I guess I should have pulled it out. Anyway, this is a, this, this, this box is, uh, is deep, uh, no doubt about it. So I think that, yeah, the box is, is part of the upgrade so that you can fit all the pieces in your new box. Uh, who knows, I'll have to check and see if we're supposed to keep any of this insert stuff. That's just an insert. Here's the new rule book. Uh, that's, uh, what have we got here? This is a 36 page rule book, full color. Uh, looks, uh, looks really nice. Who knows, I haven't, uh, haven't read any of the feedback on the, on the uh, rewrite of the rule book, but uh, it, in just having a look at it and in terms of, um, just in terms of the quality of the book, it looks uh, it looks great. Yeah, it looks uh, looks really nice. Um, uh, decent size font, decent amount of white space, so you don't get lost. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, optional rules here at the back. Yeah, there we go. So that looks uh, that looks lovely. And here is. Oh, that's the Hamilcar. I see. This is the Hamilcar rulebook. Well, that's interesting. So that's this is the new game, and uh, all right. So so that's good to know. So that's that's the new rulebook for Hamilcar, and here is the new rulebook for Hannibal, which will probably also be a 35-page book. No, 20, uh, 28-page book, and uh, looks very much like the. Uh, like the previous one we just had a look at. Um, 
yeah, looks like they've laid them out to almost identically, which is great. Familiarity is always great. And here is the Hannibal Scenario Book. We got, oh, basically, uh, yeah, those are nicely laid out. Sort of a scenario on every two page set is a new scenario. It's quite a few scenarios. I don't remember this many scenarios in the original game, but uh, I could be, I could just be uh, forgetting. It says that this is the Hannibal scenario book, so who knows if that's uh, also got the Hamilcar scenarios. Hmm. Well, I have no idea what that is, but uh, I guess I'll find out. Uh, oh. Here we go. Already there's some uh, errata that must have... Uh, they must have found some errata after, the, the, after they had the game produced, but before they shipped it. So... Oh yeah, this, 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 R to B. They, this is a sticker. These will stick on the cards. Uh, yes, I've seen a little bit of, uh, there's been some grumbling about that online at BGG because uh, of course it, it makes the uh, cards infinitesimally uh, thicker. So I, who knows? Um, you might be able to just uh, write on the card if the, uh, if the, text isn't that much different. Who knows? Anyway, some errata already in the box. Uh, uh, this is just a sheet that uh, tells us everything that's in the box and what to take it. What do you take out from the old one and add from the upgrade pack? So that's nice. Uh, oh, and a, yeah, a little bit more on the um, Backside, very good. Oh, a redone player aid. And there's, uh, oh yeah, instead of two player, this is a, there's a Hannibal player aid and a Hamilcar player aid rather than, uh, rather than one for each game. So that's all right, that's fine. Uh, new cards. I don't know if those are the new, if those are just strictly for Hamilcar or if these are cards. Uh, it looks like, um, yeah, it looks like you take part of the, this is going to be tactic cards and strategy cards. And there's a, a bunch of updated strategy cards here. And some updated tactic cards here. So these are these are going to replace the uh, some of the cards uh, in the original game. Let's might as well have a look at them while we're here and see what the quality's like. Well, we will if we can get it open. There we go. I remember the components of the uh, of the original Phalanx game being really nice. It's just that uh, I didn't want the minis. I wanted the uh, I wanted the cardboard. But yeah, these these cards look uh, they're great, good quality cards. No problems there. And then uh, yeah, here's the other thing. One of the other big complaints about uh, the original uh, game was uh, they changed the dice. They came out with these uh, with some. Uh, non-standard dice uh, for a couple of the tables in the game. I, I think having to do with naval rules and things like that. But when they, the original remake, these dice were all different sizes and some of them were quite big and, and there was a lot of complaints about just, just give us, uh, you know, regular, regular sized dice that we don't, uh, we don't need these giant, giant dice. So only one of these is large and, and not near as large as uh, as the ones were in the original game. So, and the rest of them are all of a, 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 a standard sort of size. Uh, yeah, like kind of a half inch die. Uh, and they, that, that's great. So um, 
so they cut down on the on the giant die. Um, I guess uh, I guess the only big thing is that's got uh, people in an uproar is uh, is this piece of erratum. But uh, what are you going to do? Mistakes happen. Um, I don't think it's going to affect me much, uh, but I will still be uh, I will still be keeping my eyes open for a. Uh, a set of those uh, cardboard standees so that I can uh, use those instead of the big minis. The big minis, you know, uh, I've seen some of them done. They're, you know, painted beautifully. Uh, I'm not a painter, so that's not going to happen here. But uh, yeah, I'd just rather have the I'd rather have the cardboard for sure. Anyway, it's uh, I'm glad to finally get this and. Uh, I'm glad to finally, I'm going to get a chance to finally uh, try the Hamilcar game, which uh, I hadn't done yet with uh, with my uh, other version of this. So, there you have it. Uh, uh, Mark Simonich's Hannibal and Hamilcar. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing.